Hey everybody, this is Dan from Two Friendly Nerds, and I'm going to record a quick video to show you how I rolled a automatic sort of newsletter subscription service, which can be very costly if you try to do it through paid software. Uh, sort of rolled my own version using some of the automation tools that I really enjoy. Um, and to put this in perspective, I have a really simple mailing list that people can subscribe to and pay money, usually a dollar or two dollars a month. And I've got about 500 people on there. So, you know, that's that's pretty awesome and, and it's really great for me. However, uh, when I was looking for software alternatives to sort of manage the subscription process, like for example, I wanted people to, uh, when they canceled their subscriptions, to be automatically removed from the mailing list. Um, the options that are out there are really expensive. You're really looking at $150 a month to manage about 500, um, 500 subscribers. That's a lot of money because I don't really make much money from this mailing list to begin with. So I wasn't really wor uh, willing to do that. So I wanted to roll a custom solution using tools that I was already using. So I'm using PayPal, MailChimp, and uh, you know PayPal to process the payments, MailChimp to manage the subscribers, and I wanted it to be automated. I didn't want to have to do anything myself. So, so I used uh, some tools that I love. Primarily, um, over here, we've got Zapier, which is a service that connects different software services. Now, Zapier is a paid service. I pay about 15 bucks a month for this, so that's totally great. I use it in my other business as well, so I'm already getting a lot of use from that. And I wanted to use Zapier to kind of connect these different services that I was using. And I wanted to use Fancy Hands. Fancy Hands is a great virtual assistant service. It's real people. You get a certain number of tasks per month, so I pay about 50 bucks a month to get 15 tasks. You can send them anything. They do it. They're awesome. So I wanted to connect those services in a way that would allow me to manage my list, have unsubscribers automatically removed, and not really worry about the particulars. So let's get into a little bit about how I did this. So of course, I have my list set up here in MailChimp, and uh, I've got a real symbol. Let me pull this up for you. Um, a real simple landing page that I built on my WordPress site. Now, when someone comes to this WordPress site, they're given the opportunity to subscribe via PayPal. It's also, you know, I'm not paying a monthly charge for PayPal or anything. The subscription is available in a regular PayPal account. So when they do that, I have a Zapier trigger set up. Let's go to my dashboard and find this. So I have a real uh, simple Zapier trigger set up that when someone is uh, a successful sale, in PayPal that uh, counts as a subscription, then they get automatically set up in MailChimp. So they're automatically added and it adds all their information, it adds them to the correct list in MailChimp because I have multiple lists. So I know that people who subscribe are getting added. So that's the first step. But the more complicated step was, how do I remove people whose payments have lapsed, right? That's a little more complicated because I can't really do that automatically in Zapier. So how do I do this? So what happens is when I get uh, an unsubscribe or a lapsed payment or a canceled payment, I get an email in my Gmail account from PayPal that says that that payment was canceled. So I know that that's happening. So what I did was I created a task in Zapier that goes off on the 8th of every month because I know that my email list goes out on the 15th, so that gives me a full week of, uh, of time to not really worry about it. I then created a really elaborate um, task for Fancy Hands. So basically, I went through this process myself, and I really described exactly what's happening. So I told Fancy Hands to go to my Gmail account. You do a search for canceled automatic payments, and automatic payments suspended. Those are, are you, those are phrases that are only in the titles of those mails that PayPal sends me when someone cancels for whatever reason. I then give Fancy Hands the login to my MailChimp account. I tell them to do searches for those terms in Gmail and collect the emails. So they're gonna get a list of everyone from the last month who's gotten one of these, uh, who's, who's in one of these groups and they're gonna collect their email addresses. Now, they can then go into MailChimp, 
they can select, I'm going to select, for example, let's say Felix here, who is a wonderful person, has canceled uh, or lapsed. And they can add this person to a group. They can add them either to the payment cancel group or the payment lapse group. Now, these are groups I just set up in MailChimp uh, beforehand, and they allow me to send out uh, emails just to those groups. So, for example, I have a group that includes everybody. I have a group that includes only the people who are not canceled or lapsed. And then I have the canceled groups and the lapsed groups. Now this is actually cool because I don't want to just remove those emails from my list because I might want to email the people who have canceled and in the future and say, hey, would you like to come back? Or maybe send them a, a survey that says, you know, why did you cancel? Something like that. So I'd like to have them there. I'm just not going to send them the, the weekly subscriber newsletter. So this allows me to segment my list really well. So Fancy Hands is going to go through here. They're going to take all the people they've found in my Gmail and they're going to add them to the appropriate groups. It may only be one or two people, but they're going to add those people to the canceled groups or the lapsed groups. So I'm going to know that I'm not emailing them anymore. I then have um, Fancy Hands go back into my Gmail and send those people emails, right? So for all the people who are uh, canceling, I have them send the standard cancellation email that says, hey, I noticed that you canceled. I wanted you to know that I removed you. Thank you so much for your support. And if you ever want to resubscribe, here's where you do that, right? I have them also send a pretty similar email to the lapsed uh, people who, um, right down here, who are just saying, uh, you know, hey, I noticed that you lapsed. Uh, just so you know, you're going to be removed. And, uh, you know, can I help you try to engage them? Now, the great thing about that is Fancy Hands is sending those emails directly from my email address. So when those people reply, I'll get the replies directly. The other thing that's nice is that I'm also going to see which of those emails get sent out. So Fancy Hands doesn't have to send me a report or anything. I'm going to see that right in my Gmail. So right now what we have is a system where um, whenever someone unsubscribes from PayPal for any reason, either the PayPal doesn't have any money in it or they cancel, um, I get those emails stored in my Gmail. I actually have them filtered right out in Gmail so they don't clog up my inbox. Um, and then Zapier handles the trigger where every month on the 8th, it sends an email from my account. So Zapier is going to send an email from my Gmail account to Fancy Hands with the complete list of um, what I want them to do, including all the emails I want them to send out. Fancy Hands is going to handle that task. You can see my task dashboard right here. They're going to handle that task, take care of it, email me when it's done. So I'm going to know that my list is essentially taking care of itself. Now, since I was using Zapier and Fancy Hands already, this is essentially free. So I'm shaving about 150 bucks a month. So it's a pretty cool solution. If you are interested in automating any of your business processes, Zapier and Fancy Hands or IFTTT, which is free, similar deal, is awesome. It's a great combination. So that's my little trick for setting up a paid email subscription in MailChimp for free. And I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the post below. Thanks.